so in previous video we have discussed about the basic concept of trigonometry now we are going to solve some textual question of 10th class so given if in a right angle triangle abc 8 cm 15 cm 17 cm are the lengths of ab bc and ca respectively then find sin a cos a and tan means we have given right angle to triangle a b c 90 degree at b and the length of ab how much 8 cm bc is how much 15 cm and ac is how much 17 cm okay he asked to find sin a cos a and tan a so the angle given here is a here this is my angle theta so this is my the longest side hypotenuse and the side opposite to the angle is opposite side and this is my adjacent side okay now easily we can find sin a what is the formula of sin a opposite by hypotenuse so what is opposite side 15 hypotenuse how much 17 okay similarly cos a what is the formula for cos a adjacent by hypotenuse how much adjacent 8 hypotenuse is 17 okay similarly tan a tan a how much tan a opposite by adjacent so how much opposite 15 adjacent is 8 thin so now next question the sides of a right angled triangle pqr r pq is 7 cm PR is 25 cm and angle Q is 90 degree. Then find tan P minus tan R. Means here given right triangle triangle is P Q R. This is my 90 degree is at Q. Okay. The length of PQ. How much length is given? 7 cm. And the length of PR is 25 cm. Okay. So the two sides of the triangle is given. We have to find third side. How we have to find third side by applying Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. What does the Pythagoras theorem states? The square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of other two sides square. The square of hypotenuse. What is the square of hypotenuse? P R square is equal to the sum of other two sides square. Means P Q square. Plus Q R square means the Pythagoras theorem states that the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of other two sides square. So now how much P P R twenty five twenty five square is equal to P Q P Q is how much seven square plus Q R we have to find out twenty five square is six twenty five which is equal to seven square is forty nine and Q R is we have to find out. Bring 49 this side. What it will become? Q R square is equal to 625 minus 49. So what I get? Q R square is equal to 625 minus 49. What I get? 576. Okay. So I take square that side. It will become root 576. So what is the square root of 576? What I get? 24. So Q R is equal to 24 units. So I get. Q R is equal to twenty four units. Okay. Now he is asking time P. So the angle here is P. Okay. This is my angle theta. So this is the my longest side hypotenuse, and the side opposite to the angle is my opposite side. So this is my adjacent. So tell me time P. How much time P? Time P formula is opposite by adjacent. So what is opposite? Twenty four. Adjacent is how much? Seven. Okay. Again, we are asking tan R means the here angle is R. Suppose. So this is my now. This is my angle theta. Okay. First, he given a angle P. Now at R. So this is my hypotenuse as it is. So this is my the angle opposite side. This is my opposite side, and this is my adjacent side. So now tell me what is tan R. Tan R is equal to same formula opposite by adjacent. Now what is opposite here in this case? That is seven adjacent this side, which is twenty four. Okay. 
Now we can find tan P minus tan R. Tan P minus tan R. So tan P is how much? 24. 24 by 7 minus 7 by 24. So I have to take here what? LCM. What I get if I take LCM? 7 into 24 cross multiply with this. What I get? 24 square minus 7 square. So the 24 square is 576 minus 7 square is 49 divided by 47, 24 7s are 8, 6, 168. So what I get? 576 minus 49, 7, 2, 5. 527 divided by 168. Okay. Now we will see third question. Now let us see the third question. In a right angle triangle ABC, which is right angle at B, in which A is 24 units small a, small b is 25 unit, and angle is given here is A. Then find positive tan tan the solution. So here given triangle is ABC. A B C A B C. Okay. So the right angle is at 90 degree is at B. Given angle where middle. So this is by angle A. Angle A is theta B A C. B A C means the center will always indicate my angle. Where is angle here? At A. My theta is at A. And you give a small a and capital A. So this is at the side of the triangle. How we have to take capital A opposite side is small a. Remember this. Capital B opposite side is small b. Capital C opposite side is small c. Okay. So given A is almost 24 units. Okay. B is 25 units. We are asking to find cos theta and tan theta. So again two sides of a triangle is given. We have to find third side. How we have to find third side? By Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. What does the Pythagoras theorem state? The square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of other two sides square. Means the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of other two sides square. Means AC square is equals to AP square plus BC square. Okay. So now AB is how much? 25. 20, no. AC is how much? Same. 20, 25 square is equals to AP. We have to find BC is how much? 24 square. Okay. So the 25 square is 625 which is equals to AP square and the square of 24 is 576. Bring 576 to that side, it will become AB square is equals to 625 minus 576. What I get 625 minus 576? AB square is equals to, I get 949. So the square, both that side, it will become root. So AB is equals to root over 49. So what I get AB is equals to 7 units. What I get AB is equals to 7 units. 7 unit. Now we can easily find cos theta. What is the formula for cos theta? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So what is adjacent here? Okay, now today. This is the longest side, hypotenuse. Okay. So this is my angle theta. Opposite side is this one. This is my opposite side. Okay. This is my adjacent side. So the adjacent side is how much? 7. Hypotenuse is how much? 25. 7 by 25. Okay. I think you know how to find this hypotenuse opposite side adjacent. Okay. Similarly, tan theta. Tan theta is equals to opposite by adjacent. So how much is the opposite? 24. Adjacent here 7. That's it. Now we'll see the fourth question. Now let's see fourth question. Given if cos a is equals to 12 by 13, then find sin a tan a solution. So what is given cos A? Cos A is how much? 12 by 13. So the formula for cos A is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Okay. So I can take adjacent side as adjacent is equal to 12 means 12k. By k means where k is a positive number. Okay. Similarly hypotenuse how much I can take? A hypotenuse is equal to 13k. Where k is some positive number. Okay. Now if I take triangle ABC, my right angle 90 degree is at B. So the given angle is A, my angle theta is at A. So this is my 
hypotenuse, the longest side is hypotenuse, and the side opposite to the angle is opposite side, and this is my adjacent side. So the adjacent side is how much? 12k, and the hypotenuse how much? 13k. Again, okay. we have to find the third side. How we have to find third side? By Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. What does the Pythagoras theorem states? The square of hypotenuse is e equal to sum of other two side square. Means AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay. AC is how much? 13K. 13K square whole square is equal to AB is how much? 12K whole square plus BC square. We have to find out. 13K square is 169K square is equal to 12 square is 144k square plus bc square bring 144k square that side it will become negative bc square is equals to 169k square minus 144k square so what i get bc square is equals to 169 minus 144 i get 5 to 25k square so the square that side it will go it will become root 25k square which BC is equals to 5K. So I got BC as 5K. Now can easily say time sin A first. Sin A. What is the formula for sin A? Opposite by hypotenuse. So what is opposite side 5K? How much hypotenuse 13K? KK cancel which is equals to 5 by 13. Okay. Similarly tan A. Tan is how much? Opposite by adjacent. So how much is opposite? 5k. Adjacent how much? 12k. Kk gets cancelled which is equal to 5 by 2. Okay. Now let's see this fifth problem. Given if important problem is. If 3 tan a is equal to 4. Then find sin a and cos a. Given 3 tan a is equals to 4. If I bring 4 that side, it is in numerator, it will come in denominator, means tan a is equals to 4 by 3. Same which here, same concept came here. Similarly, you can solve this. So, the formula for tan a is opposite by adjacent. So, I can take opposite side as 4k, opposite side as 4k, because where k is some positive number. Similarly, adjacent, how, what can I take? 3, 3k. Given here 3, I am taking 3k. Where k is a positive number. Okay. Now let draw right angle triangle. A, B. See my right angle it's at 90 degree. So, so how much opposite? Opposite where I have to take theta angle A. This is my angle theta. So this is my hypotenuse. And the side opposite to the angle is opposite side. And this is my adjacent side. So, opposite side is how much? 4k. Okay. So, the adjacent side is 3k. Okay. Again, we have to find third side. How? Same by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. What does the Pythagoras theorem state? The square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of other two sides. Square means AC square is, is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now AC is how much we have to find AC square. AB is how much 3K, 3K whole square plus BC is how much 4K whole square. So what I get AC square is equal to 3 square means 9K square plus 4 square is 16K square. 16K square. So add up what I get 25K square. So square that side it will become root. AC is equal to root. 25k square. So what I get AC is equals to 5k. Where is AC here? AC is 5k. Now you can easily say sin A. Cos A. What is sin A? Sin A is equals to opposite by hypotenuse. What is the opposite side? 4k. Hypotenuse how much? 5k. Kk cancel 4 by 5. Similarly cos A. What is the formula for cos A? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent is how much? 3k. Hypotenuse is how much? 5k. Kk gets cancelled 3 by 5. Have a look.